Hi sunshines and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm unboxing the Lola Beauty Box. Lola is $21 a month. It has five full-size beauty products in it. And when I first started getting Lola, I was so super excited about it. I told you guys it was the box to watch. I thought it was going to just surpass BoxyCharm. And I have to say every month I fall a little bit less in love with it. I feel like the palettes that we get are not as strong. I tend to give those to my daughter who likes to experiment a little bit more with makeup. The other products that I get in them, the mascaras, the lipsticks, the uh, eyeshadows, that kind of stuff, I do tend to really like. So I'm on the fence. To be perfectly honest with you, I have been very cutthroat this month and have canceled a bunch of subscription boxes. I have an entire index card of ideas of boxes that you guys either have tagged me on Instagram or here in the comments telling me that you would like to see me unbox. So anytime you see a box that I don't do, let me know if you would like me to review it. I'm so happy to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Christy and welcome to my channel. I am so incredibly happy to have you. Thank you for spending time out of your day to be here. If you're new, comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, so at the end of this, I'm going to let you guys tell me, not let you, but you know, I would love to hear in the comments if you think I should let Lola Box go, okay? All right, so it says, find beauty in rain. I kind of love this card. That's really cool. All right, so on the back, it does tell us what's on here. It does look like we got a palette today, and this is called the Treasure Chest Palette. That kind of sounds like it has potential, right? With summer and mermaids, that's what it makes me think of. It is by Mellow. Haven't heard of that brand. I will say with Lola, they have brands I typically have never heard of. I t don't really mind that because I like discovering new things. I found definitely products that I um, have never tried before. Why can't I open this? Maybe it slides. Yeah, it does. It slides. Okay. Man. Okay. Ooh, it's sparkly. Sorry, my nails are a mess. Okay, let's see. That's really, really pretty. I love the colors. Crystal, topaz, amber, rose gold, tiger eye, pearl. It's all sort of gemstones. Sorry. Here, let me cover that up. That's so pretty. Y'all, I've been doing my eyes again. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really enjoying, my favorite palette right now is the Sweet Peach palette. I just love it because when you open it up, it smells so good. So that's a bonus, but that one's really pretty. So this is by Mellow Cosmetics. It's the Treasure Chest Eyeshadow Palette, and it's normally $24. We only paid $21 for the box. So we've already got our money's worth just in the first item. It says, an essential eyeshadow palette featuring 12 gorgeous matte and shimmer shades, including neutral and dark tones. This is the perfect palette to create stunning daytime and evening looks. Okay. I said the palettes haven't been great. I really do like this one. I'll have to see. I'm not an expert on like, you know, telling you, you know, I watch people and they're like, oh, that's so pretty or oh, there's a lot of fallout. I'm not really good at that, y'all. I'm not a beauty expert. These are really light. Okay, these don't have a lot of pigment at all, even the dark ones. Okay, that's a little more. I know it's different when you swatch it with your hand than if you swatch it with a brush, but this color right here is that really, really dark color. So it's not as pigmented as you would think, which I'm actually okay with because I like a little bit more neutral look. I don't like a bold eyeshadow. I have hooded eyes and I just feel like it doesn't make them, my eyes look bigger. It makes them kind of look smaller. So that's that. The next thing in here is by Juice Beauty, which is an amazing brand. It's the Fido Pigments Cream Blush. Okay, I don't know how I feel about a cream blush. Oh, it's pretty though. That's the color. And this is in the color Orange Blossom. I'm sorry. I smell everything, you guys. I'm sorry. I just love when things smell good, and Orange Blossom just made me want to smell it. Okay, so this cream blush is $25, and it enhances cheeks with a luxurious, buildable color powdered by plant-derived photo pigments and age-defying serum technology. This creamy formula blends easily and delivers a healthy, natural-looking blush. Okay. Don't really have... I don't know that I have cream blush, so I would definitely be interested in trying it. What's the color? So it's just a flush of color, which I think would be pretty on my skin. 
So, okay, not, a, not upset about that product either. Let's go on to the next one. Look at the packaging of this. <clears throat> this is Bel Velvet, 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 59. It's the Sweet Malibu, or the Malibu Sweet Collection. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that packaging. So I'm assuming this may be a lipstick in the color Coral Canyon. I've been looking for my perfect coral lipstick, so maybe this is it. Look how pretty that is. Such an interesting, you could definitely find that in your makeup bag if you were looking. Okay, that is bright. That is super bright. Wow. Oh man, that is not coral, that is super hot pink. I'm not opposed to a hot pink. I feel like sometimes when I wear like um, olives and stuff that hot pink looks really great. So, wow, it is really hot pink. It is more bright than it looks in the camera. Although I do have the Clinique, um, is it the Black Honey? I think gloss that I put over things that are a little bit too bright and it makes it the perfect shade. So I might pair that along with this. So this is the Velvet 59 Coral Canyon Malibu Sunset Lipstick. It does feel like it's creamy. It says, as the dusk and waves draw on the Malibu Sunset, appears the most beautiful pinks on earth. You see palm trees, feel the ocean breeze, and salty air. The Malibu Sunset Lipstick Collection will always take you back there. I love it. I've been craving the beach so hard, you guys. All right, the next thing is the Super Sensation Face Foam. It is an unscented cleanser with white willow and bamboo. Okay. It really is only filled to about here, just to let you know. Let's see what it says. Oh, that lipstick, I don't think I told you, was normally $18. The blush was $25. And this face foam is $15. It says, a light as air cleanser for gentle, deep cleaning. This is a great cleanser for sensitive skin since it contains a pH similar to a skin to avoid irritation and fragrance-free. Okay. I like getting skincare type things. And I feel like something like this is a little bit different and interesting. So I'm happy to have that. All right, and last but not least in my box is Be A Bombshell Eyeliner in the color Onyx. That's pretty. Isn't Onyx like a grayish color? I hope so, because I'm, I'm so tired of like black. Mm, yeah, it kind of, it is a blackish gray. It's not like a super, super dark black, which I think is really harsh on my skin. So that's really pretty. I, I kind of like the thickness of the container okay so that's pretty all right so that was my box all this left is some little wormies what do you guys do with these do you just throw them away I put them in a bag um and like I filled my kids Easter baskets with them <laughs> instead of buying Easter grass but I'm always looking for other things to do because I hate to throw them out all right so tell me what you think of this box I really think it was worth it just for the palette the lipstick I think is a little bit bright, but I think I have something to tone it down with. I'm happy with the face foam. I think that's interesting and new and I definitely will use it. Um, the cream blush, I don't know. I'm definitely up for trying it and I don't mind this um, not so black eyeliner. I think it's really pretty and I really like the packaging. So that is my box. Let me know what you're thinking of Lola. Do you think I should cancel it? Do you think I should keep it? Are there any other boxes you would like to see that you haven't let me know before? Post those below. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!